a lot, Derek. Well, it's just a pristine, spectacular autumn Saturday here in western Pennsylvania for the 61st meeting between Notre Dame and Pitt. And this very pedestrian-friendly downtown Pittsburgh area really makes the ideal setting for pregame football activities. So let's begin our stay in Pittsburgh right here and take you through some of those festivities as they unfolded earlier in the day. What did he tell you about NDs? Are they going to win? Well, listen, this morning we have a conference in our hotel at the Radisson, and there's the head priest. I went to the man up top. I said to him, I said, Father, are, are you priests of nuns and fathers here to pray for the Notre Dame team? He said, yes, we are. He said, do you believe in miracles? And I replied to him, yes, Father. Touchdown, Jesus! How far have people come for this party today and the game? Well, there's uh, some from Hawaii and there's some from, uh, you know, uh, across, the, <laughs> across the river. It's like any typical Lord Dame thing. What do you think about this team for the rest of the season? One and three, it's a tough position, but what's your outlook? Oh, uh, that's what the kids come to Lord Dame for. They'll play, somebody will step forward. Uh, we'll do fine. We'll do fine the rest of the season, and hopefully we'll be looking at a bowl game. Let's go! Now, the last time that the Irish visited Pittsburgh, they lost to the Panthers in the final game ever at the old Pitt Stadium. Well, things have certainly changed for this weekend with 65,000 people packing the brand new state-of-the-art Heinz Field for the latest edition of this old rivalry. Ferguson is the man who is deep at the 29-yard line. High spiral. Ferguson signals fair catch, backs up, and makes the... Oh, he may have fumbled the ball. Who's got it? I believe Notre Dame has recovered. Hand off again, off right side. Big hole, right sideline. 10, 5, touchdown, Julius Stone. Dropped it, picked it up, back to the 10. Gets to the 15, to the 20, up to about the 20. Still on his feet. Right side, he picked up a blocker. He's at the 45. He's at the 50. And he's finally down at the 40-yard line. to Jones, finds it opening up the middle, still on his feet, quick away, 40, 35, race to the goal line, down the sideline, he's gonna go, all the way, touchdown! Jones trying to get to the outside, breaks to the sideline, 40, down to the 50 yard line, breaks to the goal line. A 61 yard run, and that'll put Julius Jones over the 200 yard mark. Their first road win of the year comes over the Pitt Panthers in front of the 19th consecutive sellout to see a Notre Dame football game. And Notre Dame has now won 11 of the last 12 meetings with Pitt. Complete postgame coverage coming up when we come back to Pittsburgh on CSTV's Notre Dame Primetime. <laughs> 